Let me start by asking you a question. How many electronic devices have you used today? Let's see, a smartphone, a smartwatch, a laptop, a desktop? Do you know what percentage of global electricity is being used in information technology today? 8%. By 2030, it will be 20% if we keep on using the same silicon electronics we are using now. Data centers alone are responsible for 2% of global greenhouse gas emission, exactly like aviation industry. Clearly, this is not sustainable. But don't worry, I am not here to stop you from buying the next iPhone in the market. I am here with a solution. Well, the solution is not much really in the pencil itself, but in the lead of the pencil, which is made of graphite. Graphite is a very special form of carbon. Inside this, individual two-dimensional sheets of carbon are stacked like a pack of cards. How do these 2D sheets look like? They are really, really tiny, but if you magnify them 500 million times in length and width and 300,000 times in thickness, they would look like this. This arrangement of carbon atom is so special that electronic signal can flow through it 100 times faster than silicon. We call this graphene. Graphene is just one atom thin, but you can also make it at home if you have graphite and a very special tool. Yes, the mundane commonplace sticky tape. Now imagine two dimensional sheets of many other elements and their compounds. What do you get? A zoo of 2D materials with superpowers. Examples, hexagonal boron nitride, the perfect insulator with the smoothest surface molybdenum disulfide, the perfect absorber of light. There are potentially close to 2000 2D materials with all of them can be isolated using sticky tapes and they have hundreds of different functionalities. I look at them as the Legos of my toolbox because exactly like Legos, I can stack them on top of each other. What holds them? A very special attractive force, probably the same one which helps geckos climb the wall. We call it Van der Waals attraction. By stacking these atomically thin materials, we can create new hybrid materials which do not exist in nature and are much more versatile than just graphene itself. We are exploring these 2D stacks to create new electronics which are thinner, smarter, flexible, variable and will consume much less power and money. So don't worry, you can keep on buying your iPhones and not just that. Using this new technology, we can reach out for far advanced technologies like driverless cars, internet of things, artificial intelligence without destroying our environment anymore.